G'day everyone, Mark Hunt here. Back as your Aussie culture expert for another 20 slang words you'll hear if you come to Australia. To kick it off, we'll go around to the one I said I'd get to, which is tiff. A tiff is either a verbal argument or a super wussy fight, pretty much a slap battle, and it isn't quite as serious as a biff. She'll be right is the Aussie way of saying can'ts fuck, but we'll give it a go. Think parachuting with a tablecloth. She'll be right. Grog is piss and piss is alcohol. Snags is something you throw on the barbie. Sausages and come either as homemade, snaggers, or a snaggeroo. Sausage made out of kangaroo meat. If you get decked, it means someone bested you in a fight, usually because you're on the ground. A frothy is a beer poured just right. Ice cold with a good head, served in glass. To spin a yarn means to tell a tale. It can be fictional or true, first or third person, and comical or serious. Ridgy Didge is something that's good and original, like me. I'm a Ridgy Didge Aussie. A Sunday sesh is a popular Australian event hosted on a Sunday. It involves alcohol. Getting smashed or munted means you've drunk too much, which could happen at your Sunday sesh. And if you've had way too much, you might cark it, which means you're dead. Lipstick is a dog's penis. Don't ask me why we have a slang word for that, but we do. If something's sus, it means it's suspicious. Like if you saw a bag sitting by itself in the airport, you go, Oi, Jono. Little sus, eh? If you're hungry and wanted to get food, you'd go for a fat feed. That one's pretty straightforward. Giving someone a hoy just means you're wanting to get their attention. For example, wait, when Robbo comes in, could you give us a hoy? Like that. Dodge or dodgy can either mean suspicious or shit, depending on the context. A dodgy cab ride would be delivered by this fella, and this is an example of dodgy construction work. Pissing down is like saying rain in cats and dogs, so it's raining heavily. A cuppa is a cup of tea, that's important. As a brew is a cup of coffee. And finally, Tall Poppy, which is someone who's a show-off or way too good for the situation that they're in. So much to the point that their excellence is their downfall. Because all tall poppies get cut short. Anyway, that was 20 Australian slang words you should know before you come to Australia. Don't be a drongo. Make sure you read up on Aussie culture. That's all from me, Mark Hunt, your Aussie expert. I'll see you all in the next video. Hooroo.